Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Example number one: There are two securities, X and Y, with expected return of fifteen percentage and twenty-four percentage, respectively. Their standard deviations are thirty-five percentage and fifty-two percentage. Calculate the standard deviation of a portfolio weighted equally between two securities if their correlation is equal to zero minus zero point nine, right? So first of all, you have to provide the information whether you have a complete information or not. First of all, you have to find out how much is invested in X. And second one, of course, you have to find out how much is invested in and Y. Then the standard ECD, right? A standard. A standard division of X and a standard division of Y. And of course, you have to find out correlation between X and Y, right? So this six item should be find out. So check the information from here. So what information are given, right? Expected return of the security. Expected return of the security means R bar, or we can say Y bar. Do we have any X bar or in Y bar in the formula? No, we don't have. So these two information which are given in the example is basically useless. We don't need it at all. It is just given in the example. It is, uh, we can say, extra information. No need for this one. But our required information is start from here. The standard divisions are equal to 35 and 52. 35 for the X and, of course, 52 for the Y. Let us go for this one for a standard division. A standard division of X is equal to how many percentage? 35 percentage. And how much is a standard division of Y? A standard division of Y is equal to 52 percentage right then one more information is given that is coefficient of correlation coefficient of correlation is equal to how much minus 0 0 0.9 0 0.9 right and this information as you think directly that is not given in the question but basically it is given in the question what is this information how much is invested in x and how much is invested in y in the example directly it is not given but indirectly it is given. How it is given? See, it starts from here. Calculate the standard deviation of a portfolio weighted equally between two securities. If it says a weighted equally between two securities, it means 50% is invested in X and 50% is invested in what? In Y. In some examples, it may say like this, right? But in the, some other examples, it may say, for example, 20% is invested in X and 80% invested in Y. But in some example, it may say like this, weighted equally, or may say, for example, quarter of the investment is in X and the rest of that is made in Y. So you can find out on that way as well. If it says quarter is invested, it means 25% is invested in X and 25% is invested in, in Y. So informations are given for us. So simply now we can calculate the standard deviation, right? And we have the formula. So we have the formula. Where is the formula? This is the formula. Easily you can calculate it. Right? X, X, power of 2. And a standard division of X, power of 2. Right? Simply we can calculate in this way. But the better way is that one of this one should be in the form of the decimal. So let us make the standard division in the form of the decimal. And instead of this one, and instead of this one, basically, simply you can calculate this one. Equal to 0. 0 0.35 0 0.35 and for the below instead of this one you can mention 0 0.52 right this is the one either this one should be in the form of the symbol or this one should be in the form of the symbol even if it is not in the form of the symbol both can be the form of percentage but the result will be a greater amount so at the end you have to divide it by 100 right so no need to do this first one directly we can multiply it right so go for calculation of this one mention a standard division of a portfolio of course this is in the power of two remember one thing this is basically in the power of two in the power of how much power of two or otherwise if you don't want to take it in the power of two for this one there should be a root so both sides should be Taken with the root of 2. Should be divided by the root of 2. Should be taken root of 2. If you take root of 2, 
so definitely you have to do like this right so root of 2 and this 2 should be cancelled a standard division of a portfolio is equal to root of 2 of this formula either you can do this one or i can do it at the end as well right so let me do let me calculate it now a standard division a standard division is equal to it is not in the power of 2 see i have taken the root right if you take the root it is fine root of 2 then what was the formula how much is invested in x how much is invested in x 50 percentage is invested in x and that is in the power of 2 right multiply 2 multiply to it multiply 2 how much uh, what is the risk of x what is the risk of x 0 point 0 point 35 of course this one is also in the power of 2 right then plus how much is invested in y 50 percentages invested in y in the power of 2 power of 2 then multiply to what is the risk of x risk of y what is the rest of risk of what? 0 0.52. And of course, it is in the power of 2. Right? That's the case. Then, of course, plus. Plus, once again, check the formula. 2xx, 2xy, and so on. Right? So let me do here. 2xx, xx, xx is 50. Multiply 2. <coughs> xy, xy is also 50. Then multiply 2. Multiply to what? Multiply to once again to the risk. Risk of x, risk of y. Multiply to 0 0.35. And of course, multiply to 0 0.52. And of course, each should be multiplied to what? Minus 0 0.9. And this is what? Coefficient of correlation. Right? So this is the case. Then equal to. Of course, this is, we should take the root of this one, right? Root of 2 for this one. So this is under the root itself. So this is root of 2. Then go for the next step. Proceed with the calculation. You can do here. A standard division of a standard division division of a portfolio P is equal to. Now you have proceed. Proceed with this one. 50 in the power of 2 become 2500. So 2500 multiplied to this one, how much you will get? So let us calculate it here and mention the result here itself, right? 50 in the power of 2 become 2500. So 2500 multiply 2. Multiply to what? 0 0.5, 0 0.35 in the power of 2. Multiply to 0, okay, 0. 3, 5 into power of 2. Press the equal sign, you get some value. You get equal to how much? 306. Okay. 306.25. That is one value. Plus, do for the next as well. It means basically in this case, you have to calculate the three items. First, you have calculated this one. Second, calculate this one. And the next, you have to calculate this one. Of course, I forgot to mention 2 in the formula. There is a 2 as well, right? 2 multiplied to all of this. Multiply to this one, this one, this one, and so on. Okay, let us do for the next part. Once again, for the second part, 50 in the power of 2 become 2,500. 2,500 multiplied to what? 2,500 multiplied to 0 0.52 into power of 2. Press the equal sign, you get some value. You get equal to how much? You get a value of 676. This one is plus. Plus. And go for the next one. 2 multiplied to this one. 50 into 50, 2,500. 2,500 into, into 2 become 5,000, right? So 5,000 multiplied. Multiply to what? Multiply to 0 0.35, 0 0.25. Multiply to 0 0.35 and multiply to 0 0.52. And of course, the result of all, result of all should be once again multiply to 0 0.9, right? Minus 0 0.9. So bracket close, press the equal sign, you get some value. How much is the value? 
The value is negative. If the value is negative, so instead of the positive, mention negative. How much is the value? 890, right? So now you can press this equal sign, you get some value. How much is the value? The value is 136. So 136 is under the root, under the root, right? All of these are basically under the root. So all of these are under the root of 2. And this one is also basically under the root, right? So now go for one more step. A standard division of P is equal to root of 2 of 163. 163 fine, fine 25. So we have to take root of 2 of this one. Root of 2, 163.25 is equal to how much? How to calculate it? So for this purpose, once again, open the this calculator. So let me calculate it through calculator itself, right? 163.25 under root of 2. It become equal to 12.78 percentage around. Become how much? Become 12. Find seven eight percentage we can say right so this is basically the standard division of uh, the portfolio so this is the risk of the portfolio how much is the risk the risk is equal to 12.78 we can say around 13 percentage so around 13 percentage risk is there in the combination of these two security in order to make a portfolio so this was one uh, this was the uh, uh, we can say the portfolio variant so in the set of portfolio variance, of course, we have taken the root of two of this and we calculated the standard division. How much is standard division? 12.78, around 13 percentage. So it's still we cannot say whether risk is more or risk is less. Then you can compare with the market standard or with the market index. And of course, it depends on the risk attitude of the and the managers or the investors or the owner of the business. For some people, it can be, a, we can say, less risk. For some people, it can be more risk.